we head to Schott's Home Emporium in Melbourne to check in with Natalie Bowen for some tips and tricks you can use in your own home. When designing a kitchen, you really are designing the heart of the home. One of the things that you can do and use is these beautiful fire clay sinks. So now people are bringing the sinks out and really creating a feature of them. So things to think about are do you want a double sink, do you want a single sink and how big do you want them? These beautiful fire clay sinks you can either choose from a fluting or you can actually have a plain side. These particular ones, if you choose a fluting but then you decide that you actually want it plain, you can turn them around and you can actually still have a plain front. So benefits choosing a double over a single are things that you need to think about. If you are a cook or an up and coming cook and you want to have bigger dishes or bigger pots in, think about actually having a singular use butler sink rather than a double. Other people are now actually thinking about not having a dishwasher, so it's a great idea to be able to wash and dry in a double sink. So just think these things through and that way you can never make a mistake. One of the things that I love about these is that if you are a little bit heavy handed, you can pop one of these grids in the bottom of it and it's not going to scratch the bottom of your sink. So that's a fantastic style tip. The other thing that you need to think about is to actually incorporate it within the design of your island. This is one of the elements that you need to make sure that the plumber is aware of so that there's chasing at the beginning in your pad down rather than an afterthought. You can actually put these also in a laundry, not only the kitchen, but also think about the butler's pantry. So you can have three or four different areas that you can actually use these sinks in and make them look beautiful. Later, the Bulldog House and we'll find out how it got its name.